Good morning, Cape. Today is Friday, January 12th. I'm Noah, and welcome to the Cape Report. Buenos días, Cape. Hoy es viernes 12 de enero. Yo soy Erwin, y bienvenidos al reportaje de Cape. All the menu for lunch today is cheese pizza, sliced red peppers, and assorted fruit. Para el almuerzo habrá pizza de queso, pimientos rojos en rodajas y frutas variadas. Seniors, is the time to submit your senior quote and vote for seniors. This will be included in the 2024 Valhalla yearbook. Submissions are open now and will remain open until Monday, January 15th. See the update in your class of 2024 Schoology Group for the link to submit your quote and votes. Señores, es el momento de enviar cotización y votar por sus superlativos. Señores, van a ser incluidos en el anuario de Balana 2024. Las votaciones estarán abiertas hasta el lunes 15 de enero. Más información se encuentra en, en su grupo de Ecology, clase de 2024. Envíen sus cotizaciones y votos. Deca and the school store are having a contest. Guess how many jelly beans are in the jar for a Dunkin' Donuts gift card. You can only make your guess during advisory in the school store. Good luck. Deca y la tienda de la escuela estarán teniendo una competición. Adivina cuántos dulces están en el frasco. El premio será del, de la tarjeta del Dunkin' Donuts. Solo puedes adivinar durante advisory en la escuela de la escuela. Buena suerte. There have been some changes in the cafeteria with your drink choices. Now to match with his story. Habrá cambios en la variedad de las bebidas. Max tiene, Max tiene la historia. Here at Cape and Lopen High School, there is very little change in the lunch menu aside from the occasional special or new pizza flavor. Recently, there has been a major addition to the beverage department. Strawberry milk has been added to the lunch menu, and it seems like it's here to stay. Six and a half. Kind of tastes like bubble gum. This strawberry milk is so good, bro. It's pretty good. I rate it a 10 out of 10. Uh, it's pretty solid. It tastes uh, a lot like strawberries. However, some people disagree. It's completely terrible. I don't suggest. I'll give it a 5-8. <laughs> it sucks. Chocolate milk is better. Although there's many different opinions, strawberry milk is soon to be a staple in the lunch menu here at Cape. This has been Max with the Cape Report. Now the sports update with Faith and Hayden. Ahora las noticias más recientes sobre los deportes de Faith y Hayden. Hi, my name is Hayden Hudson. And I'm Faith Rye. And welcome back to your Cape Sports Report. With the new year, uh, we've got a ton of upcoming games for our winter sports. Cape Girls Basketball takes on Sussex Tech at their turf on Tuesday at 5.15. Cape Boys Basketball plays today at home against Milford. Be there at 6.30 for tip-off. On Tuesday, they will take on Sussex Tech at home at 6.30. The swim team has a meet on Monday at home, matched up against Sussex Tech, starting at 3.30. Wrestling will compete in the Panther Invitational Tournament at Paint Branch High School today, tonight, and Saturday. That's all for Cape Sports this week. Go, Go Vikings. Vikings! Now to the ongoing Cape Competes game show. Ahora sigue el programa de juegos Cape competentes en curso. Hi, I'm your host, Emily McCullough, and you're watching Cape Competes, sponsored by Surf Bagel. Today we have Avery and Nolan representing Willenberg Advisory and Mallory and Nadia representing Ellis Advisory. Now the objective. In order to win a point, you must hit the buzzer before the other team when a question is asked. If you answer correctly, your team will receive a point. If you answer incorrectly, the other team has a chance to steal. Question one. Which two colors are traditional Christmas colors? Red and green. Correct. Which reindeer shares its name with a famous symbol of Valentine's Day? Cupid. Correct. What do children typically get in their stockings if they're on the naughty list? Coal. 
correct. How many nights does Hanukkah last for? Eleven. Incorrect. Chance to steal? Thirteen. Incorrect. Who got run over by a reindeer? Uh, Rudolph. No, Grandma! Incorrect. Wait, am I allowed to go now? Grandpa? No. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Which animated film is about a train that carries kids to the North Pole on Christmas Eve? Polar Express. Correct. Name one other popular name for Santa Claus. Old Saint Nick. Correct. Okay. After reviewing the results, it looks like Ellis Advisory has won. Congratulations. Thanks for watching Cape Competes. I'm your host, Emily McCullough. See you next time. You know what? I probably would have gotten all those answers correct. Comentarios sobre el juego. Bueno. Me parece muy divertido para pasar un buen rato y desestresarse un poco de la escuela. It's Friday, so time for Friday faculty. Es jueves, entonces es tiempo para nuestro segmento sobre la facultad. Now to Holden with your weekend weather. Holden tiene tu reporte del clima para este fin de semana. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, Cape. I'm Holden Sherman here with your weekly weather report. Now, coming in Friday, we got a bit of a cold sweep going through with a high of 48, low of 43, and a 56% chance of rain. Might want to stay inside that day. Luckily, on Saturday, we have a high of 52, dipping down real cold to a low of 30 with only a 12% chance of rain. That low is going to really bite, so you might want to stay inside. Um, on Sunday, we have a high of 41, low of 24, and a 2% chance of rain. That's right, we have 24 degrees, and it's only going to get colder from here. I'm Holden Sherman, and I lost my coffee. Here today's birthdays, and have a great cake day. Aquí están los cumpleaños, que tengan un excelente día.